If you're a badass woman and your feet hurt, take off your shoes, pull a jaw stone, walk around barefoot like you're at Coachella. I'm Phoebe Robinson and I'm a badass woman. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I don't know, I was kind of like a dorky kid. I was just like watching like The West Wing, Moesha, and Felicity, and being like, oh, I'm gonna move to New York and wear like a chunky knit sweater and make out with like two dudes. Like that was kind of my dream. I went to Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. My friend Lindsay Newis, she was like, I wanna take a stand-up class, and I was maybe 23 at the time. And I was like, stand-up isn't a career. And it's like, hello, <laughs> Chris Rock and like Wanda Sykes and Jerry Seinfeld are very rich from doing stand-up. But I was like, that's like not a job. We took a class at Caroline's and Broadway, and I fell in love with it. This was July 2008. When we first started out, it was so scary. You're like, I don't know what to do. I used to like practice my set in front of the mirror, so I'd be like, hey guys, hold. And I'd be like, how are you doing tonight? Hold. Like I would do all that in the mirror where it's like, are you drinking Friday? Yeah. Jess and I, you know, obviously I knew of her from The Daily Show and she knew about me because I started out doing improv. I told her about this um, podcast that I was doing at the time. It was called Blaria, which stands for Black Daria. It's like I was really like trying to pretend like it was Soup's Profesh. And I was like editing in SoundCloud, I was like, LOL. Um, but she like came over to my apartment and did it. We just had a great time. And we just both sort of felt like this is a kind of special comedic thing here. Hi, you're listening to Two Dope Queens from WNYC Studios. I'm just What you hear in the podcast, really honestly like what we have from day one. It ended up being number one around the mother freaking world, which we were like, what? But you know, at the same time, I had tons of credit card debt. I still have my student loans. Why doesn't blogging pay? Oh my God, I would write these like 2,000 word freaking recaps for Scandal making $75, and I'm like, this just is worth like 400, just on word count alone. What's really cool about what Jess and I did was we saw that there was no sort of variety show that was hosted by two black women in New York. It got bigger and bigger and bigger, and it really turned out that we sort of answered a phone call that we didn't even know was ringing. That was a terrible analogy, and I've written two books, so anyone could be a writer. <laughs> I think like working in comedy, like as a woman or as a person of color or as a queer person, anyone who's not a straight white dude, you sort of feel like, do I belong? I was just like, well, I don't sound like all these white dudes. So is my stand up trash? Does that mean I'm not doing it right? What's really cool about right now is that you can really decide what your career path is gonna be and sort of follow your bliss. How to be a dope ass feminist in 2019. Let's just all love ourselves for other things than what our bodies look like. And it's a much more deep kind of love, I feel like. Like some, I went to this event last night. I was just like, I'm not gonna wear makeup. No one's gonna care. That narrative of like, you're gonna be letting people down because you don't look how none of us look in real life makes no sense. Yeah, I think with the production company, I want to get out of the way and pass the mic to someone else. Be able to provide a platform for people to like share their truth, be really hilarious and moving and smart and funny. I would love to write a romantic comedy for me to star in. My dream co-star would be Hasan Minhaj. Michael B. Jordan could be like the hot dirt bag that I have like two sex scenes with. Ooh, David Allen Greer would be a good dad. Viola Davis can be my mom. There's no plot, it's just me hanging out with hot dudes. And now for a final word. I think probably like my biggest piece of advice is that no one really knows what they're doing all the time. Other people are sort of overthinking about the same things that you are. So it's about like not being afraid to mess up. I didn't get into NYU, but I got on HBO. Do you feel bad now, NYU? Do you feel like a fucking idiot? And that is how you be a bad ass woman. So get out there. <laughs>